Well, hey there, Sharon Reynolds Mayor. Welcome to the 2460 of What You Have to Now, documenting the journey originally as I came online from the brick and mortar corporate world of business, decades there. And then following my divorce, I'm like, okay, what do I want to do now? Because I didn't want to just stop doing anything. I just wanted to do different things than I did uh, prior to that. And I've done a lot of different, crazy, interesting, uh, different things than a lot of people do. So I like to share the lessons learned from that, as well as what I'm learning as I'm doing new things. So today, uh, we've got the annual challenges through the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. We're talking about communication as one of the life framework areas, communication growth this year, because we want to grow in each of the life framework areas, and then how our communication interacts with the other life framework areas, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships, contribution, confidence, and of course, communication. Well, I like to share this graphic whenever I'm discussing this topic with somebody because it illustrates that every area and aspect of our life is impacted and totally intertwined with every other area and aspect of our life. So to think we can separate out a little piece of us and only pay attention to that one piece, will we can do it for a short term, but for the long term, it is at our peril. I learned that in a very big way in 2010 when I had a sudden cardiac arrest because I was focusing, focusing, focusing on my business and my family, business, family. That's all I had time for, which meant sleep, mental well-being, physical well-being, health uh, went by the wayside. And I got away with it for several years. But after a couple of decades, my body and my mind and my soul and my spirit and my emotions and everything said, stop, time out. We need a reset. And so I had a sudden cardiac arrest, checked out, frozen and in a coma for uh, a little over a week and then uh, went through cardiac rehab and then had eye surgery, just all kinds of stuff in the next year and realized that if I didn't change my life dramatically, I wasn't going to be here to to raise my kids the rest of the way, to see them raise their kids uh, or to do anything. So I endeavored and, and went on a journey for massive, massive lifestyle changes. I'm definitely, I mean, I'm the same person, the same core values and things, but definitely the way I show up in the world, the things I choose to do and the things I choose just to not participate in uh, anymore are, are very, very different than, you know, when I was in my 20s, 30s and 40s and, uh, you know, the 50 year old half century wake up call of a sudden death experience does a lot of things to change you. And I think uh, people that have been through that experience know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. It's not the most, it, it was a fine subject. Looking at it, back at it, like I said the other day, hindsight's 2020 when it comes to reviewing our life and creating our lifeline. Uh, and we actually have the distance and the maturity to realize, oh my God, that seemed like it was the end of the world at the time. But looking back at it, and all of the things that happened as a result of it, oh my God, thank goodness that thing actually happened to me. And I don't think, I, I say that, but I don't know that a lot of people understand it, which is part of why I keep it to myself. All right, for Supersize Your Business, I was gonna be done at 70 Fundamental Supersize Business Strategies, but I was looking through my list and my, my little uh, choppy choppy notes of, of brainstorming what I wanted to talk about. And I realized that I had skipped about five of them. So I'm going to go to 75. And then at 75, I, and I started today. I want to ask people, what are your five most important business strategies right now that you use and you, you, wouldn't, throw, you wouldn't let go of them no matter what? I'm going to ask that question and then compile those answers and then see what people come up with. Because I know what my five most important ones are, but I want to know what they are for other people, for the people that I'm here to serve. And then I might offer to do a course or teach those for free, the five most important ones so that other people can start off with a strong foundation as they're building and growing and supersizing their business or can add those to their business to make it stronger and easier to grow and scale. All right, if I can help you in any way, hit me up. You'll get gravelly voice me, but I'm around. If I uh, if you got a question that's been burning a hole in your life and you wanna just get on with it once and for all, go ahead and reach out. All right, have a great day, and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.